Hi, welcome to Kindred Spirit Readings. Let's begin, Gemini. Uh, first thing that I picked up on immediately is that you're in doubt about something. It won't be about getting a second or third or how, however many opinions from other people. This is going to be all about checking in with yourself um, time and time again. Just you. Only you. This is all you because it's about your efforts, your expectations, about the work that you're doing currently. I just keep getting that you may be uncertain as to how this is all going to work out for you. Generally, you've got yourself together. You've got your stuff together, but there's something rather different when it comes to, you know, especially when it comes to other people that you're involved with, uh, you know, other people are doing things differently. You don't necessarily have to change. You don't need to change because whatever you've been doing for so long, you can stick with that. It works for you. It makes it's what makes you unique. So if there is any doubt whatsoever in your mind, it you know, you can scrap that and, and just keep doing you because as I said, it works. Um, whether other people have a difference of opinion, you can take that on board, but you don't have to change completely um, because somebody else finds that it, it might be, somebody else says it might be time that you did. Um, don't be influenced by that. You're you're much better and much stronger than that. Love is going to be a tricky one. You're tempted, but I'm I'm just not seeing any movement. So there could be this is this is wanting or needing um the wanting or needing of fulfillment in other areas of your life and you're just not getting to a point where you're completely satisfied, but for those of you who are in a relationship, things can seem a little out of sorts. I do see some involvement with Libra. I also see Capricorn and Leo headed your way. And Leo, more relevant to your reading than anything, I think there's a lot to talk about. There is, There are very few of you that are involved with the fellow Gemini as well as Scorpio. Um, now, let's start with Libra. Libra comes and goes. Um, they do as they please. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty around this. To wrap your head around this, you could go crazy. Then we jump over to Capricorn and Leo. This is very solid. You know, there's a lot of promise. They're not broken promises, which is a great start to a healthy relationship. Um, and obviously for the the upkeep of that relationship. And fellow Gemini, I'm seeing, could be doing a lot of talking, talking to each other, talking to people that can help you both get through the pain and the hurt. If you're involved with Scorpio, they're not talking to you. And if they are talking to you, they're not interested whatsoever in getting to the bottom of things, getting to the root of the problem. If there are underlying issues, we need to talk about them. I just keep seeing you say to that Scorpio, uh, to Scorpio, pardon me, this would be a tough nut to crack if the communication is, is not flowing. How the hell are we supposed to get through this? How are we supposed to resolve any issues? You know, watch your health this week as well. I see a sweet tooth. I see a lot of meat and... An overload of meat, perhaps um, bloating. I'm getting something about your legs that leads to the feet, but it mostly is some kind of pain that you're getting around the back of the thigh area, above the knees, perhaps. Thank you, Gemini.